This week in science, we're going back to November 26th, 2018. Touchdown confirmed. It's the day NASA's $830 million InSight mission successfully touched down on Mars after a nerve-wracking final descent. For some of us, it feels like just yesterday. But this past week, the Jet Propulsion Lab announced that the lander is nearing the end of its life. Dust buildup on its seven-foot-wide solar panels has now greatly reduced InSight's power. And unless a lucky dust devil blows over, it will lose power entirely by the end of the year. So, what did we learn? InSight was a departure from most of NASA's other Mars missions, which were focused on the surface and the possibility that the fourth planet from the sun once harbored life. Short for interior exploration using seismic investigations, geodesy, and heat transport, the lander was designed to study the deep interior of the red planet, providing clues about how it formed and evolved over the past 4.6 billion years. And about five months into the mission, jackpot. The first Mars quake ever detected. It was the genesis of an entirely new branch of science, Martian seismography, and the first of over 1,300 quakes the lander would ultimately detect. One quake measured just this month was a magnitude 5, causing vibrations to bounce around the planet for at least six hours. You can think of it like doing CAT scans of a person, right? They're basically, they release energy and that energy propagates through the planet's interior and we're able to essentially image the planet's interior, right? Layers and its differences in composition. Dr. Katherine Johnson is one of around 100 scientists making up the InSight science team. She says one of the things that image of the Martian interior shows is a molten core, which is much larger and less dense than we were expecting. It's that interior that is really the heat engine that drives the planet. It drives the evolution of the surface. It drives the evolution of the atmosphere. And so understanding the interior in terms of the layering in the interior is a really key part to understanding how the planet has ended up in its present state and how it got there. InSight was also able to detect traces of the planet's once mighty magnetic field and serve as a kind of temporary Martian weather station. But ultimately, the mission was only meant to last two years, so it's already past its expiry date. NASA expects the lander will stop detecting Mars quakes this summer and power down entirely by year's end. But what InSight leaves behind will keep teaching us about Mars for years to come. So it'll be a really rich data set for understanding the volcanic history, the tectonic history. Anything you learn is new, right? So anything you learn is a revelation. With this week in science, Curtis Doring, City News.